Morning. You know, 24 hours, it's amazing how much the world can change. We change. <laughs> Life changes us. Where I'm at, we've had nothing but cloud cover and rain and, you know, there's a time and a place for that. And God knows I love it in the winter and sometimes I love it in the summer, but... It's been a long time since the sun show, shone on us and boy once the sun hit these plants that had been soaked in water and rain they took off and started growing like crazy you know every time that I look at a plant I always think of it as creation's way of praising God because it seems to reach out and reach up and reach toward I believe God now obviously it follows the sun but isn't that what we should do? Follow the sun? <laughs> Having said that, let's check out Streams in the Desert and see what it has to say. Because while it may be a book, by the Spirit of God in you, it can be the voice of God speaking to you, even as he's speaking to me. For every child of God overcomes the world, and the victorious principle which has overcome the world is our faith. From 1 John 5, 4. At every turn in the road, one can find something that will rob him of his victory and peace of mind, if he permits it. Satan is a long way from having retired from the business of deluding and ruining God's children, if he can. At every milestone, it is well to look carefully to the thermometer of one's experience to see whether the temperature is well up. Sometimes a person can, if he will, actually snatch victory from the very jaws of defeat, if he will resolutely put his faith up at just the right moment. Faith can change any situation. No matter how dark it is, no matter what the trouble may be, a quick lifting of the heart to God in a moment of real, actual faith in Him will alter the situation in a moment. God is still on His throne and he can turn defeat into victory in a second of time, if we really trust him. When one has faith, one does not retire. One stops the enemy where he finds him. You know, in our modern days, <laughs> as wise as we are, and as smart as we think we are, we have faith movements and faith this and faith that, that confuses the issue for people because they look at it and think, well, that's weird, and sometimes they're right, because if Satan can't keep you from exercising your faith, what little you may think you have, he can steer you away from believing in it by causing you to see people who get exaggerated in their faith. Oh, it doesn't mean that they're wrong necessarily. It just means that they exaggerate some of what they feel or see or experience. Haven't you ever done that? I know that it's common to look back and remember stories and embellish them a little bit. And then if they're told to someone else, they get even more embellished. You know, <laughs> as a writer, I could do that easily, you know, and I could create settings and scenarios and tell stories that, wow, people would go, oh, that's so marvelous. But also as a writer, being a Christian, I recognize the danger in that because people could be misled just as easily as they could be led. The point is, neither one is what God wants. He doesn't want you misled and he doesn't want you led. He wants you to know. And when you know, then you come to a place where no matter what life throws at you or what you may face today, even when the sun's shining and suddenly you discover you have skin cancer, <laughs> like I discovered, or they said I had precancers, then you realize that you need to take some steps in order to recognize what the issues are and what you need to be aware of. Reading a devotional does that for you. It helps you to recognize whether you're in the faith, 
out of the faith? Whether you have any faith, no faith, or whether you need to exercise some, meaning that you need to just say, God, help, and run to him. <laughs> I know every time that there's a crisis, I'm fine. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have a problem with anything major because I know God's in control. It's all the little details that kind of mess me up, like everyday life, getting the coffee just right. Boy, can that throw you for a loop? At that moment in time, whenever it is, whatever it is, it shakes you up. Good. Because better to be shook up and turn to God than to just stand there and let it affect you. Today, I pray, just like the little streams in the desert said, whatever it is you're facing, whatever it is you're going through, take a moment. Have a moment if you have to. Go somewhere and yell and scream, but take a moment. Exercise your faith today. Turn to Jesus. <laughs>